to a tyrant regime, uh, the most uh, affected or the most dangerous uh, uprise or uh, or standing up for what's right is not to bring a, a, you know a, a bomb or destroy or commit terrorist uh, acts. It's the fiqh, it's the aqidah that they, you know, that they don't want you to bring or uh, let people know. And this is what they did, uh, the British did, in, uh, uh, when they destroyed the uh, Khilafah al Osmaniyya, the Osmaniyya, the Ottoman Empire. They, they did, you know, they, they were fighting. And then uh, they said, well, you know, we are, we are losing these wars. We are losing these battles because we are fighting people are willing to die for what they believe. So we are doing them a favor by uh, killing them. <laughs> now, in order to defeat this aqidah or this creed, and will be able, they will be very easy prayer for us uh, to conquer them. We have to destroy the fiqh al aqidah. We got to take this away from their minds and from from the youth, especially the youth. And that's why they started. The first thing they started, they they start making people believe that we are civilized. If we send our children to a French or a English or what have you school, and let they they they, they end the katatib or madrasa, uh, my brothers in the, you know far east they know about madrasa, Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, and all that. So this is was the first thing they did. Then they change the education system, the curriculum, in all the schools, from, you know, from primary school all the way to the university, all right? And then they start to making Islam to be a crime, you know? It's, uh, well, uh, you know, you are, uh, <laughs> you grow your beard, you're a terrorist, okay? You are, uh, <laughs> oh, you marry, you marry uh, four women. You are a womanizer and, uh, you know, you have, uh, you don't respect women and the rights. Oh, then, oh, no, no, we marry and we start defending this. We, we start to stand taking the defensive. And instead of saying, oh, this is what we decree on us. This is our aqidah. This is our deen. This is our way of life. And we follow, we don't, we don't question Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are not, you know, we are not, we're nobody. And thus, we started taking the defensive. Oh, wow, well, you know, we, we do this because of that. Oh, wow, well, you know, you, you are a terrorist. Oh, wow, well, no, we are not. We are defensive of war. We, we, start, we, we start doing the job for them because we've already been dialed in and programmed. You see, and this is what is happening here, and this is what has been happening since, you know, since we've been on Earth. It's the, 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 the defeating and the controlling of the mind and enslaving people, greed and the way they think, because, you see, we, we, our mind is the strongest thing. We are, we, we are you know... La ilaha illallah, we, we invented the computer, we went to space, all right? We are very, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala faddalna ala kathiru min khalqi. Anyway, so, you know, let's, let's get up and smell the coffee, please. And stop, stop being... Stop being complacent and ignorant about, about what's going on. Woke up. What you afraid of? What we are afraid, what we have that we're going to lose. 
especially especially the vast majority of people what are you afraid of you know oh you know back home i remember when i was a little man or a little boy oh no and the guy that is saying I wanted to live, he is working 14 hours or 15 hours out of 24, <laughs> and he barely feeding his family bread, each half. Okay? And he's, uh, yeah. <laughs> who you want to raise? This is how you want to live? Get up and smell the hummus. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.